<clears throat> so I think we are live again. Signal issues as per usual. Rendell Scon. And um, I'll wait for a few people to join us. We're on Farmer Pete's phone, which is always a bit more reliable than mine. It's Farmer Ben speaking. I don't know if I actually are on Pete. It's saying live, but oh no, here we go. <clears throat> here we go. Everyone's tuning on, tuning in. Let us know if you're watching. Let us know if you can hear us okay. It's always a bit dodgy when we've not got the greatest signal, but we're inside the workshop this evening. Um, for a bit of a surprise for everyone. This isn't. Oh no, we're back on. Uh, so bear with us tonight. We have, like the description says, we've got a little miracle. So Farmer Pete will show you a little bit of a backstory to this one as well. So I was over, if you've seen the live earlier on, um, I was over in Lady Park and... Oh, we have came back on. We've came back on. Like I say, folks, bear with us. Farmer Pete's away with... Uh, like the description says, our little miracle. Um, so the backstory: I was over at LP, uh, feeding up today. I was nearly finished. Went into the last pen, which was the pygmy. Round. This little girl was sitting just by herself by the water troughs, and with no one around in sight to look after her. Um, so she was all alone, with no one around that looked like they were going to help her out, help her get on her feet. Um, but we eventually found, I know a lot of people have been asking, but... Right, we've moved folks, we're moving, we're on the move. We'll need to move for signal purposes. You can hear it. You can hear the. You can hear the newest arrival bleating away here. Uh, we're just going to move up to the polytunnel so that everyone can see, um, and you can get some decent uh, footage because it's extremely frustrating for us as well when you're when we're on and we're in mid flow and we get cut off. So, um, like I say, because we were in the workshop, which is where she's being kept. Uh, because we're in the workshop, the signal was pretty bad, uh, but. We should be, we should be good now, I think. So, for those of you asking, you maybe seen my live earlier on from LP, and we were looking for mum. There's nowhere to be, no mum to be found uh, for a little baby, and it was a kind of a mystery because if there was no mum about and little baby was standing up quite happy, how? Had she got to this stage? Normally they need mum. Uh, normally they need mum to help. Um, I'm going to grab a bale here. So, how had she got to that stage of standing by the water trough herself uh, with no milk? She was dried off, so it looked like she'd had a lick from whoever had gave birth to her. Um, and it was all a bit strange The fact that she was standing up I don't think she'd had a souk by this point uh, I don't think she'd had anything to eat But she was strong enough that she was on her feet She was looking a bit miserable But um, I knew she was uh, She was had plenty of fight left in her So what we've came to is Mum has been found For everyone asking Mum, mum has been found So do not panic Not the best mother I have to say is it Pete? That's an overstatement. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, she's not showing much interest in her at the moment. No clue. No clue. Uh, not much milk. There's Jack going in the background. <laughs> Mum doesn't have much milk. Um, so we're just keeping her going just now a little, making sure she's got plenty of colostrum and plenty of milk. Uh, try and get her through her first night. That's always the most important. So what we've gathered is we have... 
a particular goat here. <clears throat> a pygmy goat and we got her earlier in the summer and she always had her bag full of milk or what looked like full of milk and when we bought her uh, the previous owner had said look she's pregnant she's been with the the males and her bag's full so she's not going to be far away. She never ever had any kids but her bag always remained full so it was a bit of a mystery and when the, the vet was out one day asked her to have ask him to have a look at her bag and what we came to is she has phantom pregnancies like you hear in a dog so the phantom pregnancy goat has seen this little one be born and it's heard it bleating and has came to its rescue hence why it is a miracle because if we never had the goat which has phantom pregnancies which we've never ever had before this is a a kind of a bizarre one uh, for a goat to have phantom pregnancies if we never had her in the same pen this little one wouldn't have made it because it wouldn't have got licked it wouldn't have been able to get up because it wasn't stimulated by the mother there, again. there we go we're having a good she's having a good soup now this is just its second feed this is, yeah, this is only its second feed. I know it's hard to hear Farmer Pete because he's the other side, but... Um, Mum's no milk. <coughs> Mum doesn't, very, Mom doesn't have a lot of milk. milk. So basically the stars have aligned for this little one. She's been born when she shouldn't have been born. Um, the goat that gave birth was actually one of the goats that we bought at the auction. I don't know if you can remember the, the live that I'd done from Carlisle Auction. Uh, we, I'll give you a quick tour around the market and it was one of the goats that we got there so she wasn't supposed to be pregnant but this little one's popped out so circumstances have uh, have allowed her to be here yeah she is a little beauty she's absolutely beautiful uh, and she's got a right good bit of fight about her as well because she could have easily gave up when no one was bothering with her but she's not she's been determined so number one Mum shouldn't have been pregnant, but managed to get her out herself, no problem. Number two. The size of her. She was just so happened that there was a goat in the pen with a phantom pregnancy. Thought it was her. Number three. Taking it for her own and decided to lick her, get her on its feet. Uh, and basically kept it alive. And number four. We were actually there at the time, uh, in time enough to catch it and catch the real mum and try and get them in together before it was too late. So it's been a, it's a bit of a weird one, isn't it? Very weird, very bizarre. Uh, but very thankful to be here. She's not out of the woods yet. No, she's definitely not out of the woods by any means. She's not out of the woods yet. So we just had to get some powdered colostrum. Powdered colostrum from her... Uh, local town and country store, Tarf, um, Tarf Valley. So thank you to Sandy for sorting us out. Had to go through the back because this isn't a normal time for lambing or kidding. So um, all the lambing and kidding supplies were away. Um, the reason we're feeding her out of a a juice bottle, which I'm sure is is a Highland Spring bottle, which is a water bottle, which uh, probably looks a bit weird, is because that is a very small teat on the top of here. And that's what it's designed for. It's designed for water bottles so that um, you can fit it on. If it was a conventional uh, lamb bottle, it would be far too big and the teat would be far too big for its mouth. So, <laughs> check her out. Can you double check it's a she, Pete, please? <laughs> oh, you've got history there, haven't you? I have history there. Don't want to talk, talk about that. She is a she. She is a she. I got it right this time. So, um, she is a she. She has put her down there. a great bit of fight about her, and Sorry. as you can see, the size of my hand. Look at the size of her. She's the size of your hand. And uh, so, quite amazing that she's she's made it this far already. And she's had about twenty five mil. We could really do with her to take a wee bit more, but she seems to be. Um, she t she's at, she's taken to the bottle not too bad really hasn't she she will have a little sook sometimes you get them in the on the bottle and they just do that see where she turns her head away immediately just turn her head away but she will give it a go um and i'll know it doesn't 
sometimes it doesn't look the best but you have to get some milk down them um, otherwise we've got no hope um, someone said give the other give it to the other goat that has the phantom pregnancy it's not a bad idea but unfortunately we can't because because it's a phantom pregnancy she's our bag is full of water and not milk so she's unable to feed it uh, so that ha that thought had crossed her mind we checked her bag but it's not going to be feasible uh, so she's she's in with the billy at the minute so hopefully she'll get in kid uh, or she's in kid early stages in kid uh, so she's going to have to stay with the original mum who has she's got a wee bit of milk she's got a wee bit when we checked her bag earlier she had a wee bit of milk but, uh, not, but mom, not much baby's not interested in soaking <clears throat> and mum's not interested in in baby so yeah, um, it's a bit. Of, it's not a good. Uh, catch twenty two situation. It is a catch twenty two. So, um, Sharon says, "Is the mum not feeding her? She isn't at the minute, Sharon. No, she's not got any interest. But this isn't unusual for pygmy goats, by any stretch of the imagination. They are not the best mothers. They're a rare breed for a reason. They are <laughs> terrible mothers, to be honest. Especially when they first give birth. Once the the babies get up and on their feet." And they start soaking themselves. They're normally absolutely fine. They grow great kids, but the, see the first 72 hours is a total pain. And this one's going to be no exception. But she's not downright refusing her, is she? No, she's not doing her any harm. She's just um, not sure of, what. Not lack sure of interest. what. To, yeah, lack of interest, and she's no, not sure she's, what to do. They're fine in the trailer together, but just not. Um, so yeah, for everyone just asking. Not it's not an option to give her to the goat with a phantom pregnancy because she does not have any milk. She's only got water in her bag because she's not producing the right hormones um, because it's only a phantom pregnancy and it's not. she hasn't actually got a baby in her. So, I don't know. I think we should maybe hold off from naming her just to get her through her first... Her uh, first wee while. Yeah. First night, anyhow. Uh, you can see her wee tummy... Only 25 mil of, of milk that she's had, but you can see her wee tummy's... She's got little belted thin. Galloway markings on there as well. Yep, yeah, you can see how just here, it's a little pouch full of milk, so... Her stomach's only going to be, like... Yeah, tiny, tiny. So, yeah, we'll not, we'll not name her at the minute because it is such a... She's walking a tightrope, really, isn't she? she is, to, yeah, bless her. Uh, because she's really needing mum to show some interest, but she needs to show some interest in mum as well, so it's a two-sided story here. Um, I know with, with Eeyore and Winston, we had a bit of a shaky start, but we're a bit more confident as what we are uh, with this wee one. It's, it's going to be a real challenge. Maybe crack Our attitude's good though, which is, uh, which is really good. It's a great sign. Bless her. Cheryl says, "Do you suppose the real mum will accept her?" Oh, I don't know. It's not. I'm not holding my hopes up. Mum's just lying in the corner at the minute, showing no interest, and baby's under the heat lamp, uh, away from the. Just so she can, she can get some. Uh, keep her warm not that it's particularly cold but they still need to be kept warm to some degree but really good we've got a wee teddy that lies next to her just to make her feel like she's not on her own because yeah. mum's at one side of the trailer showing no interest and um, we baby gonna have to call it something yeah we're gonna have to <laughs> just kind of call it we baby. I know we, got, we might have to name her somehow but um, so <laughs> Oh, she's so tiny, she looks and sounds like oh, a little... There she's having a stretch, look. There we go, that's the golden a, stretch, that's that what they always a, want to see. That's a good sign. Very good sign. Uh, uh, who said there? It was uh, Cheryl, I think. She looks and sounds like a little pipsqueak. <laughs> which would be a hilarious <laughs> name. I'd actually seen a, a programme I was watching on TV the other day, they had a tiny little dog and his name was Pixel. And I thought that was hilarious, just because obviously a Pixel's tiny, isn't it? It's about the same size as this, so uh, I'm gonna there, I'm gonna put the donkey's coats on. I'm gonna fling Pixel in the ring for its name as well. I like I quite like Pixel. I don't normally put my hat in the ring, but I'm gonna say I'm gonna say Pixel. I'm just trying to get through all these. She's almost as tiny as. Oh, there we go. She is a wee. Such a cute wee face as well. So Winston's getting his coat on for the night. Mm. 
I'm just trying to keep up with these comments. Folks, thank you for everyone um, sharing your thoughts on here. And what's that? What's that? In the, oh, it's just another coat in the corner. I wonder what was on the left hand side. Uh, it's just another coat. Uh, thank you to everyone sharing your thoughts on here with us. Um, really means a lot that you can uh, take the time to type as a message. We do look through them after every live um, and we reply to as many as we can. Mary says, can you take her in your home for these nights? It's not that cold, Mary, to be honest, and she's got a heat lamp and plenty of straw, so she's more than happy. She's snug as a bug in a rug. Um, We'd rather she stayed with the mum. Once you start taking her away from the mum and you put her in your house, you've committed at that point and that's you kind of, um, there's no going back. Once you take her away, you can't then reintroduce her, so we have to stick with it. Uh, you have to you have to commit to saying, right, mum, it's your obligation, it's your baby, you take care of her, please. She, will, she has been hand-fed tonight, yes, yeah, so uh, for people asking, can you take her home and hand-feed? Our home is literally 50 feet away, so don't don't worry, we're not far away. Uh, or Farmer Pete's home certainly is, I'm only a couple of minutes away. Uh, pumpkin's, uh, pumpkin's liking getting, I, I don't know if you can hear Farmer Pete, because on the other side of the phone, uh, but he's enjoying getting his coat on tonight. He's maybe liking the, he's maybe liking the warmth, he's getting comfy, getting his jammies on. That's what it's like, isn't it? You get their jammies on for the night. Well, he was enjoying it, but he's getting comfy. Yeah. 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 Laura says, maybe one of you can stay in there with mom, mother and baby and gently encourage them to share space together. They're in the same trailer, so they're in just a small uh, trailer sitting in the workshop with a heat lamp, so you can't really get them any closer. And once you start to try and force them upon each other, it's like two magnets pushing against and it's not it's not going to help. You need to let nature take its course and you need to let them try and do it theirself and create that mother and baby bond. Um, it's, it's really important. Trying to interfere uh, with that process is really quite difficult. If she, if she makes it through the night, we'll bring a pen up here. She's in the workshop just to keep any drafts away tonight, but the, the first 12, 24 hours is very important. So if we can get her through that, then she'll come up here into a pen and we'll put a heat lamp up here for her, so... Uh, fingers crossed. So, I've lifted her on to... Yeah, fingers crossed for sure. Um, we're going to do all we treats. can anyway, as we normally do. So, I have lifted her onto the bale with me while Pete was, uh, Farmer Pete was putting the coats on and this is how she's got herself. Don't know if you can see that. There you go. She's cuddled up. This may be a better angle. She's got herself cuddled right in. She's actually, she's very, very calm with us, isn't she? She is, yeah, she is. Um, she's, she's conserving energy, I think. I think she knows she's going to need it, so. And news on the calendar, folks. The, the website has been a nightmare. For those of you who've been trying to get your calendars booked, but it is fixed, it's up and running. So we're, we're back. Uh, if you want to, if you've been having trouble getting your calendar from here in the UK or Scotland, it is all honky-dory now. So um, pop onto the website, dulscohenfarmfund.co.uk and uh, you get your 2022 Dulscohen calendar with all your favourite animals in it um, new baby's not going to make it onto the calendar though no it's a bit too late for her <laughs> it's uh, it's off to the printers but look at that wee monkey in the I know bucket. having a wee drink the phone's went really dark for some reason see, see that? yeah I don't know what it's... oh is it coming back I don't know why it's went oh, it's oh no there's <laughs> there's coming back how strange is that I've never seen her doing it so yeah the website should be fully operational for international and for I think what is the problem international would or was the problem the problem was with the was, UK was with for the some UK reason. I don't know why it knocked the, the website off for the UK but it is back on it was all the way around yesterday yeah it's back on and everyone from Scotland England Northern Ireland and Wales can easily purchase their 
little teddies, calendars, or Christmas decorations online. So we're back. We're back on. So good news. Very stressful, but good news, thankfully. Uh, if Mum has no interest in the wee one, would she harm? Uh, would she harm her? No. 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 No, she won't. She won't harm her. She'll just sit and look at her, kind of with a head tilted, like, "What on earth are you? And why are you here?" So, if they're going to harm them, they harm them as soon as they come out, uh, and that's that's what happens every single time. So, yeah, there's she's in no danger with her mum. She she'll be in the best place with her mum. Uh, Vicky says, "Pete, you're going to be busy with it." You're going to be busy in the updates now. The donkeys and the baby goat. <laughs> something else for us to, something else for us to keep an eye on. Uh, so, update on the calendar. It's off to the printers and it's getting printed early next week. And then as soon as we receive it, we'll start posting them out. But we'll come on live and tell you when they start getting posted out because there's been loads of you ordering. Thank you very much for your support and, and for our, our local friends. If you if you've booked uh, self pickup, if you're coming in to get your calendar uh, yourself without the postage, please bear in mind it will be Tuesday before they are here, um, just due to Tuesday. Uh, Tuesday at the earliest, possibly best to leave it till Wednesday, just in case. Tracy at the printers was having a little freak out today. Yeah, she was. <laughs> uh, we like to, we like to keep the pressure on, don't we? Eeyore's getting a bit restless. She's wanting some. Horse nuts. So, so some yes, we will. Uh, Nicolette's asking, will anyone be checking on her during the night? We of course will be. We'll check on her once through the night. Um, and someone was asking, why wouldn't she make it? Uh, because of the start that she's had. So it was quite a long time. Uh, she'd been born quite a long time before she had any milk. Um, she. Pro, quite a lot, quite a few hours, won't it? Before we discovered her, really. Yeah. Um, so it's a long time for her to go without any any milk. She should have had it within half an hour of being born, and that just didn't happen. So that sets them back quite a lot. Uh, so that's always a worry. The other worry is that Mum's still not taken to her, so she can't just get a feed whenever she wants. So when she is getting fed, um, she's getting fed something that'll last her. Um, a few hours rather as when mum loves them and takes care of them they can have a have a souk every two minutes really yeah, can't they so the it's a uh, it's a bit it's a bit more difficult for it when you're hand rearing anything it, it's a uh, it's more difficult um, but it's a lot of work a lot of patience as patience is the main word with a pygmy goat for all of you that have got pygmy goats you'll know that that is um that is the word for them, patience. You just need to work away with them and eventually they normally take them. So fingers crossed that's what's going to happen. Um, we would have liked to have found her a couple hours before, but uh, at least we're still in this position. Um, are we having a poll on the baby goat's name? Probably. We'll probably have a... What do you think, Pete? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. We'll have a poll on the baby goat's name. Um but we'll wait a few days just to get her up on our feet and quite happy. Um, so just um, just bear with us on that one. We just want to make sure that she's strong enough before we start properly committing to her. But um, she's doing great at the minute. Go on, baby. So you can see how tiny she is in Farmer Pete's arms there. Uh, Anne Robertson said late night shopping in the toy shop on the 25th of November at Dulscon. Thanks for reminding us, Anne. Uh, so next Thursday is next it? Next Thursday, a week tonight. A week tonight is late night shopping at Dulscon. Uh, so the toy shop will be open. There'll be complimentary hot drinks. From toy five until eight. From five until eight is the timing. So late night shopping, Dulscon, next Thursday. Uh, complimentary hot drinks for everyone arriving. Um, and. The gift shop and the toy shop will be open so you can come and have a little browse with no kiddies about. Um, and we've also got our Christmas club as well so uh, you can put anything behind the till that you want. We'll keep it for you until uh, until you'd like to pick it up just before Christmas and you can pay it up 
um, from then until now as well. So if you want to just chip away and um, put a wee bit of money towards it every week, then you can do. You can just set up a Christmas Club account. So that's no problem to do at all. Let me see. We're just flying through these comments. And thank you to uh, Tampa Joe. Um, another bucket of horse treats arrived today. Uh, all the way from... Uh, I don't think they're all the way from Florida, but Joe um, sent them on behalf. Tampa, yes, sent them on behalf. So thank you very much. Very much appreciated. Um, hey, Tammy is asking Pete, can you milk mom yourself and bottle feed it to the little girl? We can. We tried her today, but there's very little milk there. So it's, I don't know if we're going to get enough, but um, the milk we're giving her just now is colostrum, which is the mum's first milk. Um, and there certainly wasn't enough of that on her, so hopefully the milk will come to her. So we will try that, yes. So there's people asking as well where to order the calendar and the teddies, and it's dalsconfarmfun.co.uk, and you can find all the links there. Uh, Naomi says, I'm glad you finally have a girl to name. <laughs> Let's have a look and see if there's anything else. So we're not going to do a, a well, we've probably been on quite a while now, actually, but it's um, time seems to disappear when we're doing the lives and answering all your questions, and we end up feeding the animals and working away while we're doing it as well. So you just come along whilst we're uh, whilst we're getting fed up for the night. So um, we're actually going back to the toy shop. Trisha's toys is still in there. We had a big delivery today, and bless her, she's in there. She's in there she's working away, trying to get the, it onto the shelves. So we're going back to finish that off. And um, so. Uh, it's been a whilst I remember actually I meant to say it on the last live um, but it has been this is a nice little surprise for the this is a nice little surprise at the end of a, a pretty rubbish week for everyone isn't it Pete um, I've got two golden retrievers everyone was wanting to have a wee uh, look at the golden retrievers I've not managed to get them on live yet so I've got Penny who's nine and Lucy who's ten and a half um, and a couple of weeks ago we found Penny got a couple of little lumps underneath her chin and so we took her into the vet and on Monday she was unfortunately diagnosed with cancer um, and she's going to be starting chemotherapy on Monday so keep Penny in your thoughts for us as well uh, my little golden retriever unfortunately she's the youngest of the youngest of mine and Claire's little family if you will, and uh, everyone's thoughts would be appreciated on that one because it's some rubbish news to receive. It's kind of put everyone a wee bit down the no dumpster. It has, yeah. She's as much a part of the family as uh, as any human, really. So yeah, it's uh, it's been a bit of a rough one. So it's nice to get a a little um, a little miracle like this one coming along. Um, so we actually need two names here. As I said before, the goat that we got, we only the this one's little this little one's mum, we only got a couple of months ago uh, from the market. So we're needing a name for her as well. So we're needing a baby and a mum name. Uh, I would show you mum, but as soon as we go down into the workshop, it's going to disappear. Uh, if we're going to drop. Well, we're going to drop off tomorrow. signal. Sorry. She'll be up here tomorrow night. I've got a name for mum. Not interested. Can we call her that? Zero interest. Zero. Zero, maybe just call her zero. Zero milk, zero interest, zero motherly <laughs> instinct, zero help. <laughs> um, so, thank you everyone for your comments once again. DalsconFarmFun.co.uk is where to get your calendars. Find Donkey Cam. Uh, I don't think we're just sitting under the Donkey Cam at the minute. Um, but you can find your calendars, teddies, etc. And it should all be working, no problems now. Thank you for joining us tonight. Um, Keep Penny in your thoughts for us as well. That would be greatly appreciated. Um, and this wee one. And this wee one as well. Keep your fingers crossed and your paws crossed uh, for this wee one. We're going to do all of our, we can. We'll be checking it through the night as well. And hopefully it'll be a good news story. But uh, bear with us because we're not out of the woods. But we'll, uh, we're certainly trying our best. Um, so have a great night. Everyone. Anything you'd add, Pete? Uh, no, just thanks for your support. And as I say... Apologies for those in the UK who've had trouble trying to get your um, 
online purchases today but as I say it was out with our control as I said this morning it was I mean we've only got a simple website but what we were asking it to do I think it was um, it was probably overloaded slightly yeah so, I think the traffic didn't help it as well there's been a lot of people on as well so um, yeah but it should be all be ironed out now shouldn't yeah, it yeah there was plenty of uh, plenty of Welsh orders coming in hello to everybody in Wales um, they must be quite quiet because I don't see a lot of comments from Wales do you um, let us know if you're from Wales yeah like, please comment the Welsh flag if you're from Wales but I did see uh, plenty of orders coming through just before we came up tonight and I did notice particularly they're from Wales and hello to everybody else not just from Wales but um, of all the home nations or wherever you are today. definitely all locals all the home nations as well it's there's a FaceTime coming in. I'm glad that didn't cut us off there. Uh, so we will leave you to your night, folks. Thank you for all the love hearts and thank you for all the nice comments about Penny. It's really appreciated. Um, Mrs. Best will be looking on and, and reading them, I'm sure, as well. So it's always nice to get a wee bit of support and know that everyone's with us and thinking of her as well. So we'll keep you updated on her journey and hopefully there's uh, she's still got plenty of time with us. Um, but we'll maybe try and get her on stream so everyone can see her as well now yeah. that we've announced it. It'll be yeah. quite nice to get Penny on. So, um, yeah, have a great night, everyone. We'll ca catch up with you tomorrow. There's Meerkat, Farmer Connor's eventually back. There's Meerkat feeding coming on, coming on tomorrow. You're going to get introduced to the tortoises as well. Uh, so, yeah, big day tomorrow, and hopefully this little one will be on stream as well. Um, so, have a great night from Farmer Pete. Bye everybody. And myself, we will speak to you tomorrow and let you know times for the stream. Sleep tight. Bye bye. Bye bye.